This is Oshani from Jinta.com. Some of you are just starting out with your journey on math Olympiads, such as IOQM, American Math Competitions, or other contests like ISI, CMI entrances. First thing first, be aware of the fake Olympiads. Do not waste your time on a ton of contests and their gold medals, silver medals, and so on and so forth. Focus only on what matters. There is the IOQM in India and American Math Competition worldwide. They have fantastic questions. And if you do well in these competitions, some of the best universities of the world will invite you with open arms. In this video, I will share with you five strategies that can help you get started. I know that at the beginning, many of the students feel very uncomfortable in this journey because the problems are very different. The questions that you face are not at all similar with your school curriculum or even with your engineering entrance curriculum. But you love mathematics, that's why you are here. So don't get intimidated. Use these five strategies. Hundreds of students from over the last 14 years in Chidda have used them to great effect. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Chinta.com is a center for outstanding training in mathematical sciences like mathematics, physics, computer science and research for school and university students. Our students have performed wonderfully over the years. Hundreds of Chinta students are at premier universities around the world like Harvard, MIT, Oxford and in India, TIFR, ISI, CMI, IITs and so on. We take a lot of pride in the work that we do. We do it honestly and diligently. Even this year, in 2024, 10 Chinta students were in the top 78 who qualified in the Indian National Math Olympiad, the highest level of mathematical Olympiads in India. Lacks of students participated, only 78 qualified, 10 were from Chinta. Seven current students and three ex-students. We work very hard all the year round and we are here to help you. So let's talk about the five strategies. The first one and the most important one, get a good book. If you are just starting out with your journey in mathematical Olympiads, then getting one good book is absolutely essential. If you Google a bit, you will find that there are a ton of beautiful books, websites and resources out there. That can be very confusing and intimidating. What is that one right book that has every good feature? Let me tell you from outset, and I'm doing this for 15 years, there is not one good book that contains everything right. We will have to go to many books in the long run. But start with one book. Forget everything else. Make sure your focus is razor sharp. Focus on that one book. Complete all problems from that book from cover to cover. That book might have some advantages, some disadvantages. That's okay. Finish one book first. And what we suggest, if you're just starting out with Mathematical Olympiads, we suggest Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics as the first book. You start with that one. Of course, some of those problems will be really hard and difficult. You may have to think for weeks before they yield a solution. That's okay. That is the fun. That's why you are here. You love mathematics. That's why you're here. If the problem just gave in in a second, what's the fun in that? So don't worry. Students usually take several days to solve hard problems. That's a normal thing. If you are lost, if you can't do it even after several attempts, then 
कम टू स्टेप टू स्टेप टू इज आस्क फॉर हेल्प आस्क फॉर हेल्प ऑल द टाइम आस्क फॉर हेल्प फॉर द इंटरनल स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ चिंता दैट मीन्स यू आस्क फॉर हेल्प इन द डाउट क्लियरिंग क्लास यू आस्क फॉर हेल्प इन द रिकवरी क्लास रिमेंबर इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग बहाइंड ऑन सब टॉपिक Every month we set up extra recovery sessions where small groups or one to one the faculty will explain the topics that you have missed out or you are unable to do. Always always proactively ask for help. Only then you will not fall back and if and if you are falling back you will come back and start again on the track. So that's the second step. Ask for help. The third step, and this is superbly important. If you are in grade level four or above in our Chinta program, in the Mathematical Olympiad programs, or as I say, my entrance programs, attend the problem-solving classes, which happen five days a week. or depending on your time zone four days a week these problem solving classes are different from the compulsory homework and concept classes most of our success are from the students who attend the problem solving classes absolutely regularly look i understand that when you are starting out in the first couple of months you will find the problem solving classes like hebrew you won't understand a ton of stuff you will have no clue what the kids are talking about because it's a mixed set of problems but remember that is being deliberately done it's by design we want the problem solving classes to be mixed in nature we want you to feel uncomfortable you want you to struggle a little bit with the ideas we want you to ask for help if you don't understand a certain thing if you push through if you persist through the first couple of months in the problem solving classes i promise you in the third month you will see a big change in yourself you will things will start clicking even if you don't know a concept you will be able to quickly grasp the big idea you will be able to appreciate the work that other students are doing other faculty members are doing you will find the joy in mathematics that's the most important thing so make sure to attend the problem solving classes 5 days a week even if you do not understand all of it that's the third step the fourth step is to practice problems using our panini 8 software and the homework problem set of course every week you get a traditional homework problem set in your class try to solve those problems additionally you should devote some time to the adaptive problem solving system that we have at chinta called panini 8 let me quickly show it to you so this is the software you just open it up in your browser This is called panini8.com. If you are an internal student of Chinta, you can ask the admin to give you access to it. Click on login with Google, and once you have logged in with your Gmail account, it will send you to a very simple interface, where at the center of the interface is the beginning of a new problem. This problem is from number theory. its difficulty level is 3 and there are 15 points associated with this problem so if i hit on start as look i have already at 1.22% of this math olympiad level 5 that's my progress up to now if i click on start the problem comes in the timer begins so the software also records how much time i'm taking to solve a problem on certain topics there is an adaptive algorithm working at the back end which will help you and the software to do the problems better so the problems are here 
Of course, you can look at a hint if the hint is available. Sometimes a hint is available, sometimes it's not. And then you can actually hit on a particular option, click on go. If it's wrong, it will say it's wrong. If it's right, it will help you to go to the next one. Okay, so one more thing you can do with this system is you can get help. That's very important. So click on get help. And as soon as you do it, you will immediately see that other students have posted some queries, some doubts. I told you in the second step that you should always ask for help. You can ask for help in the doubt clearing section. Those are live sessions where the faculty discusses doubt problems with the students. You can ask it in the recovery classes. You can ask it in the one-to-one -one class if you are taking a premium program. And this is one of the fourth places where you can ask for help. This is the ask question spot. Maybe you can see it. And if I click on that, I can just write type in math. So use LaTeX here. If you don't know LaTeX, you can just Google it. There are plenty of tutorials. It's a language in which you can type set math. It's very simple. For example, if I want to type in x square, I'll just start with a dollar and with a dollar and type x square. Of course, I can preview what the thing will show. And of course, others can either say they also have the same doubt or they can comment on this or they can love this particular question that can happen so it's a very very important thing to ask for help and the software is one place where you can do that the fifth and the last thing the last step is it's important to have a goal a tangible goal for yourself what we suggest is aim for three thousand non-routine problems in one academic year. Remember, I'm not telling you to actually solve 3,000 problems. That would be quite hard. These are not repetitive formula-driven problems. These are non-routine problems that take time for you to think. So what I'm saying is 3,000 problems which you either do by yourself or you intently watch others doing and you try to learn from them. Now, if you are attending all the five problem solving sessions, if you're attending the concept class, the homework class, then you will see 1000 of those problems inside the classroom, in the live classroom. Another 1000 problem, you'll be able to see in the homework problem sets and Panini 8, this software. Finally, the last 1,000 problems, you can always get it from the books or the one book that you have started with. That's a corpus of 3,000 problems. Make a note of how much you are progressing every day. Put a little date. Put the number of problems you have done and keep it handy so that you can see what is your own progress. I think if you follow these five steps, then you will be absolutely fine, even if the beginning is a little bit bumpy. All the best. In 2024, several mathematical Olympiads are coming up, like IOQM in September, AMC 10 and 12 in November. And you should prepare for them. But first and foremost, you should do mathematics for the joy of it. All the best. I wish you all the good luck and I wish you a lot of hard work. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay well. Bye.